over the basics of Jamboard, but now let's talk about how you can use this as a collaboration tool in your classroom. Um, what you might do is assign a jam to a small group of kids, because I don't really know how it'll work with more than that, but I think four kids per jam would be acceptable. So what you're going to do is you're going to start a blank jam, and then up in the right-hand corner, there's the three dots. You're going to press that, and you're going to go to Add People. And then you can choose to add them by email, but maybe the easiest way to do this will do link. So you'll press the little toggle switch and turn on link sharing. And then I, you have to scroll up a little bit and it will give you a code. And you can then give that code to the students. And the students, when they get onto Jamboard, will press plus, join Jam, and then they will enter that code and the Jam will be there for them to get on from their device. So um, as a management tool, it might be a good idea to have a separate page for each student, and then they could just get on to their designated spot and add content, um, or they might work together to figure out the best way to add content onto one page. So that's just something to kind of work through as far as um, digital collaboration goes. So definitely something to try out.